Men Cyclo Cross was going through a golden age. The move to the road of its two superstars, Good Van Aert and Matthew Van Der Poel, had generated an impressive groundswell of interest among the road cycling fan, who had never before prostrated himself in front of the TV to watch a mad competition. But in February 2022, the doping positive for a ridiculous substance by one of the sport's superstars, Belian Tung Arts, has brought home to the general public that yes, Cyclocross, despite being a sport in which the effort is less prolonged through more intense than road cycling, is still the same road race to see who can cheat the most. Do you want to know its history? Well, without further ado, let the show begin. Toon Arts was another of those riders like Claudio Capucci or Adri van der Poel, passionate about cycling in all its aspects. The difference with those two super champions is that Arch was much better at cyclocross than Rose Racing, something that is not surprising if we look at his impressive size and the power he moved in the mud, a discipline in which strength is a key aspect to obtain victories wherever he goes. Arch, however, was not a cyclist with many triumphs during his first years as a professional. Not even as an amateur was he a winner. However, he stood out for his regularity, he never used to suffer slumps in his performance, and that made him grow little by little within the world of the cross. From the 2015 season, he starts to get very good results in different competitions, and in 2016, he opens the yard of essence, beating both Matthew Van Der Poel and Good Van Aert in the European Championships in Pontchateau, taking advantage of the simplicity of the course, a distant attack, and the rest of the cyclists that day were looking at each other more than giving 100% of themselves to get the blue and white jersey. But Arts, who always remained in the structure of Valois, knew that he could be more than an alternative to the two titans of cyclocross and could take advantage of the jump of both to the road to show himself as a real reality capable of beating them in dire duel. In the 20... in the 20... in the 2018 season, he would bring out the Yard of Essence and begin to win regularly in the World Cup races in which Matthew Van Der Poel and Good Van Aert were not participating. In addition to showing himself as a competitive man where both were in contention, yes, light years away from being able to beat them in a head-to-head. -head. However, thanks to his great consistency, he managed to win the overall World Cup, the Belgian Championship, and finished third in the World Cup behind the two legends. Toon was climbing steps and was already considered the first of the mortals. But he want more, he want to give sopas con ondas, until Miss Fortune was part of his career. In the 2019 season, he had already won two Super Street races, and in the middle of the campaign, he was already the leader of the World Cup. The Christmas races arrived, and with them, the most prestigious of the World Cup won, on the always complex and spectacular course of Namur. That day, Arts pushed the rest of the riders to the limit. With risky maneuvers and giving everything he had in him, he was outperforming a very fit Matthew Van Der Poel, leading ahead of him in numerous overtakes along the course, but that risk translated into several crashes. Victory went to the son of the former world champion Adrie Van Der Poel, and our Belgian friend today finished with four broken ribs. Just four days later, Arts went out fully infiltrated, using painkillers banned but prescribed by a doctor in order to compete, and finished in 14th position in Solder in a performance described by the press as heroic and that from our point of view was totally unnecessary. And in fact, since that crash, he was no longer the same. He could no longer be at the level of Matthew Van Der Poel and Good Van Aert, who, with the medical treatments of Alpesin and Jumbo Visma, reached a level that Good Old Arts 
Could never afford with only one road win in a minor competition in 2017. Despite this, Ertz was still performing at good level. He finished third at the 2020 and 2021 World Championships, won the World Cup again, and in 2021 won the Super Prestige for the first time in his career. So he went into 2022 with the goal of becoming the benchmark of cyclocross in the year when Van der Poel was suffering for a very serious back injury and Van Aert was also not going to give 100% to focus on what really makes money, the Tour de France. However, from the start of the main international competitions, his power's compatriot Eddie Servit began to beat him with remarkable easy in numerous races. And of course, he had little to do when Good Van Aert appeared to take up to nine different competitions. Arts went so far as to declare to the press that if the Jumbo Rider was at such a level right at the start of his cross season, it would be impossible to achieve results. A statement of very indicative of what was to come. Arts decided to focus his season on the Bad Camers Trophy where, unlike the World Cup, he was feeling better than Iservit, and therefore knew that his end-of-season goals were the Fayetteville World Championships and the final Batcamers race to become champion. In the World Championships beaten by Ineos Tom Pitcock, Hearts failed miserably. He was never in the thick of things and finished on a low 6th place, claiming that the course had not favored him. But days later, he won the bad cameras both in the partial and overall classifications. His season had been saved, and he was now ranked number 2 in the USI behind only Eddie Iservit. Everything looked great for Arts until yesterday, that the day we learned a secret that has made it clear how the world of cyclocross is. Arts test positive for Letrosol an anabolic masking innovator, which is prescribed for patients suffering from beast cancer. Evidently, Toon Arts has not been able to do like the Italian tennis player Sara Rani, who in 2017 also tells positive for this substance and blame it on mixing her food with that of her mother who had cancer. She was only sanctioned for two months because tennis is much worse than cycling. Toon Arts, for the moment, has been strife of his Bad Camers victory and his sixth place at the World Championships, since, coincidentally, this doping control was done only 10 days before the World Championships in which neither Van Der Poel nor Van Aert were present, and which could have been the big breakthrough for Aert if he had won the rainbow. Of course, the Belgian has disappointed all those who love cyclocross with statements and becoming of a man who shows his face. We talk about, like, I don't know how this substance got into my body, an excuse that Van Der Poel's grandfather already said in the 60s. I have always been an anti-doper during my whole career. Or, I will do my best to clean my image and let's wait to the counter-analysis. Well, you can hire the lawyer who made your compatriot Dave Hoste come out and catch it for a positive test, or the same as our beloved Samuel Sanchez, because for many you are now just another dope rider, the dope rider who tried to match the clean Van Aert and Van Der Poel, the dope who has found the true face of elite cyclocross.